tonight we are at L.L. Bean in Freeport, Maine, and he's sleeping, not really. We are going in to check uh, sleeping bags and sleeping pads and a footprint for my tent. We are, I'm trying to switch over from just day hiking over into backpacking overnight, and I'm super excited about it. I have a goal set, uh, lots of goals set. I'm excited to start doing longer trips, several days, up to months. Uh, we are going in here to check out, there's an ultralight sleeping bag that I'm interested in. And I'm going to compare it to a ultralight enlightened equipment sleeping. Well, it's a quilt, so I'm not sure which one I want yet. But in, they're about the same weight, similar price range, and similar temperature. They're both rated at 20 degrees. Also, looking to check out sleeping pads and see if I want the blow-up pad or the accordion kind of one that unfolds, as well as a footprint for my big Agnes tent. I'm not sure if I want to spend the money on a footprint or if I just want to use Tyvek to go underneath and protect the bottom. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna check things out and I will video some of it and let you know if I make a decision. I'll show you what I buy, if I buy anything. So we will see what's going on. All right, so I am trying to decide between the ultra lightweight sleeping bag, mommy 20 degree regular, ultra lightweight sleeping bag, 20 degree minis. I don't wanna carry any extra weight that I don't need to. But I don't see one here on the shelf. For the women's, so I'm gonna have to ask. All right, so here's some of the sleeping pads that I'm looking at. So this Seed Summit is a self inflating, self inflating pad, it weighs one pound seven ounces. But this one is the lift version, it's slightly shorter, uh, but I don't know the weight, so I want to find out. And how do they self inflate? That's what I want to know. We are back in the car, and I did not make a decision. Um, I narrowed it down to the one sleeping bag in there that I would get, um, but I haven't decided for sure if that's the one I want. There's two sleeping pads I narrowed it down to in there, um, and I'm still undecided on the footprint versus Tyvek, but I think I'm leaning towards getting the footprint. But tomorrow we are making a trip to REI, and that is my favorite store in the world. <laughs> it is completely filled with hiking gear. Um, there's some biking gear and stuff, but the hiking section is the best. So we are heading down to Massachusetts to check that out, and I will show you some stuff when we get there. I am so excited. I feel like a little kid. All right, I will check in with you guys later. He's sleeping again. So we are at REI, and uh, we must be here on garage sale day and didn't know it because we had to circle the parking lot like. I don't know, for 10 minutes to find a parking spot. There's so many people here, it's crazy. Um, it's stupid. So it should be interesting to see if we can even look at anything or if it's just gonna be crazy. Um, I might try and film there, I might not. It just depends on how crazy it is, so we shall see. All right, we found nothing that I wanted in REI. <laughs> Everything was more expensive than it was at L.O. Bean, unfortunately, and the sleeping bag weighed more and packed down bigger so it would take more room on my pack so I didn't want that and there were so many people because it was a garage sale it was crazy everybody's grabbing stuff and it was just a little overwhelming not fun so we did find some freeze-dried backpacker meals that we wanted to try and we bought three different ones and we left so we're on the way home we'll probably stop at EMS uh, in Portland on the way just to check out some other stuff but REI was a bust, which is a little sad because I usually love that store, but that's okay. We are, I won't get it figured out, and I'm sure we'll have another adventure here. So last weekend when I went to LB on Friday night and I was like, showed you I was looking for backpacks and a sleeping pad and um, a ground cloth, uh, and I hadn't decided, so I was excited to go to REI the next day. REI uh, turned out to be kind of a bust for what I was looking for for a sleeping bag and sleeping pad. Um, the thing I did get at REI that's just kind of for fun because I hadn't seen these anywhere else was some, um, they're called Good To Go. They're backpacker meals. Um, these, this brand is made right here in Maine, so that's kind of exciting. One of them is a spicy Korean with uh, mixed rice, sesame seeds, carrots, and spinach. Uh, that sounds really good. And the other one is a smoked three bean chili. Both meals are vegan, so I was excited to try those. And then I got a backpacker's pantry. We've had this 
brand before, but this one is a vegan pad thai. So I was excited to at least get that. We also got a complete cookie, uh, Larry's Complete Cookies. Uh, they're really good. Um, they have a lot of protein and things in them. But we ate that on the way home, so I can't show you. Um, but the other thing is, I will show you what I got that I'm very excited about. Um, so we went all the way down to Reading, Massachusetts, and all I did was get some backpacking meals. But then on the way back, we stopped at um, EMS in South Portland, and I actually found the sleeping bag um, that I wanted. Well, I didn't know what I wanted, but I found one that I really liked, and I bought the last one there. It is by Big Agnes. And it looks big right now because it's all fluffed out. It is the Blue Lake 25 degree. It is a synthetic bag. I did not want a down sleeping bag. Um, so I did find this one. I was very excited about it. It weighs 2.4 pounds. I also bought a compression, waterproof compression sack to put it in. And then lastly, I bought a, for a sleeping pad, I bought a Neo Air x Light. Um, so the sleeping pad I got was the women's regular size, um, and it's 12 ounces, so that's pretty good. You do have to blow it up, so I'm not sure how that will go each night, um, getting back to my tent when I'm out backpacking, but um, it's really comfy. I did ch blow it up once and, and, you know, lie down on it, so I'll show you that uh, in a minute. But so far, here's what the sleeping bag looks like. I bought a petite, um, it was a little less weight. It's pretty, um, I'm not very tall, so it's, it's fine. So, um, but it's, it's, it's purple. And I will lay it out flat and then show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what the sleeping pad looks like. If you get a good idea. I was wanted to bring it outside, but it's raining. And, um, so that's what the sleeping pad looks like. And here is the sleeping bag on top of the sleeping pad. So pretty cool. I'm excited. All right, so here's what it looks like in the compression sack. Um, it's much, much smaller, so it fits in my pack pretty good. Um, I'll show you my pack in, a, in just a minute. I'm gonna lay out all my gear um, that I do have so far and tell you, um, you know, what each thing is um, and what, what I use it for. And then I will tell you what I'm still researching and what I'm thinking I'm changing. I keep All right, so here's most of my gear laid out. I'm gonna go over um, each thing. Let's start over here. Um, this is my sleeping bag, and I was wrong. I have a, a small stuff sack, not a medium. Um, and that was Sea to Summit dry sack. And then my sleeping pad, which is right there, which is a Thermarest Neo Air. And then next to it, I have my tent, which is the Big Agnes Fly Creek um, HVUL2. It's a two-person tent. I uh, bought it originally thinking we'd use it together, uh, but it's light enough that I'm just going to use it on my own as well. So, and then I have a Thermarest. It's just a butt pad. Um, I use that so I don't have to get my butt wet if we're out and we want to sit and take a break or sit on a rock or it's just nice and cushy. And then over here, this is my first aid kit. There's my outdoor research hat that I wear all the time to keep the sun on my eyes or the rain. Um, next to that, I have my anchor charger to keep my phone charged on the trail. And then I have my Petzl headlamp. I think it's an uh, Active Core headlamp. I used that, originally bought it for running, so I use it for running uh, early morning and on the trail. And then here's some of my winter stuff I have um, originally also bought for running was my Saucony mittens, um, my Brooks running hat for the winter. Um, it's nice and fuzzy on the inside. It's pretty warm. And then I have a buff, just a, a pink buff. And then over here is my cook system. I have my Cedar Summit long handle spork. I have my Snow Peak 600 titanium cup and my MSR pocket rocket that I use for cooking, which I had in the video. Then I ha I bought this uh, Sea to Summit collapsible mug because I thought in the mornings I'd want coffee, but I might want to be cooking oatmeal at the same time so I could pour the hot water in there and enjoy some coffee. We'll see. Might be too much, might not want it. 
Um, and then my water filtration system right now is a Sawyer Mini, Sawyer Squeeze Mini. And um, I've only used it rarely. I haven't needed it so far. Um, it comes with a bag that's pretty, it wasn't very helpful. I tried to buy, I bought this platypus water bag. Um, it's very difficult though to get the water in in the top. So I need to look at a different um, water bag. I'm not sure what I want, but I want something with a different top. I know they make some that kind of snap or roll, um, so I'm gonna look into that. Then I have my, my Osprey Day Pack that I use for short hikes. Was it Tempest to 20? I love that pack. And then I have my Osprey, it's an Osprey Aura 50 liter pack. Um, it also has an attachable brain that you can put on the top here, and I'll, I'll hook that on in uh, a minute and show you. But All right, so this is what it looks like when you attach the brain. There's a couple clips in the back that you just clip it in. And then instead of, you know, clipping this part down, you can just kind of either roll it up and then you clip down the brain part like this, and it gives you you know, a bunch of extra space in here to, to store stuff. One of the other things that I usually just carry in the front pocket of my pack, whether it's this one or this one, it's, um, I have some hand sanitizer, some toilet paper, some wipes, and this is the Deuce of Spades. So those are necessary if you're out there for a while. Those are things you want to have with you. So that is most of the gear I have so far. I will talk in a minute about what I'm trying to figure out besides my backpack, if I'm gonna keep my backpack. Uh, the other thing, of course, I am trying to figure out is the water bag. I need to get something different for that. And uh, also, uh, I need a bear bag hanging system. I hope that gave you kind of an overview of the gear I have so far, what I'm still looking for. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comment section. If you, I can, I'm still kind of new at, at the backpacking part. I've been hiking for a while, uh, day hiking, but I'm just switching over into backpacking. So I am still learning as I go, but I can you know, do my best to answer your questions. And if you have any suggestions, like for whether it's a backpack or whether it's a base layer, uh, whatever you, you know, any suggestions, you can leave that in the comments below as well. So thanks for tuning in today and watching uh, what I have for gear. Just wanted to say thanks so much and as always, keep hiking and have a great day.